couple of weeks ago, GMC announced that the production of its midsize pickup will be postponed and that it'll start in December, five weeks later than initially planned. And now there's a new dilemma among those looking for a midsize pickup, to look for their new pickup in other places, to get the 2024 model or maybe wait a bit more. We have no doubt that being a bit more patient is the best thing to do and to prove that, here are 7 reasons why you should wait for the 2025 GMC Canyon. Number 7. All the luxury you need the fact that GMC is more luxurious than Chevy we already knew, and that particularly refers to the pickup truck segment, whether it's about the midsize Canyon or the full-size Sierra. But the relatively recent redesign brought big improvements and made GMC's midsize pickup way more luxurious than before. High-quality interior, latest tech features, and other things helped it stand out from the crowd, especially in the case of the Denali trim, a well-known moniker in GMC's portfolio. This time, things went next level with the Canyon Denali featuring exclusive features like a black perforated leather interior with teak wood accent, a premium Bose sound system, and various other materials and trim upgrades. Moreover, the Denali stands out with unique 20-inch machined aluminum wheels, while the list of standard equipment also includes a spray and bed liner, chrome side steps, a heads-up display, a surround view camera, and many more. Well, the 2025 GMC Canyon is about to elevate even more because the latest reports suggest that just like the full-size Sierra, the Canyon is also about to get the Denali Ultimate trim, with even more unique styling details and luxury bits. So if luxury is on your priority list, then the 2025 GMC Canyon is certainly worth waiting for. Number 6. Impressive Off-Road Performance one of the reasons to wait for the 2025 GMC Sierra is its off-road performance. Namely, this pickup isn't just pretty luxurious, but can also come equipped with some pretty serious off-road hardware. First of all, there's the AT4 trim designed for moderate off-roading. That model won't empty out your pockets completely, but it'll still ensure strong off-road performance. Simply, the list of standard equipment includes standard four-wheel drive, a two-speed transfer case, a locking rear differential, hill descent control, and all-terrain tires. For most, that's plenty enough upgrades for off-road advantages. But GMC had hardcore enthusiasts in mind as well, so it also designed the AT4X model, with further upgrades pretty similar to those found on the Colorado ZR2. Compared to the AT4, the AT4X comes upgraded with off-road suspension, including Multimatic dampers, locking front and rear differentials, upgraded tires, and even an additional drive mode called Baja, which clearly indicates the model's desert running pretensions. Practically, the AT4X is a more luxurious and better looking ZR2, but if even that is not good enough for your off-road criteria, the AT4X is also available with the AE EV Edition package, which adds a full load of accessories and other upgrades from the famous tuner, AEV bumpers and underbody protection, new beadlaw-capable wheels and massive 35-inch tires, as well as wider fender flares and an extra 1.5 inches of ground clearance are just some of the things that come with this package. Number 5. Class-Leading Towing Capacity Along with the Chevy Colorado, the GMC Canyon has always been a class leader when it comes to max towing capacity among mid-size pickups, and the current generation is no exception, with the max ratings going all the way up to 7,700 pounds. But the big difference compared to the Colorado is that the Canyon is not available with a detuned variant of the new Turbo 4 engine, so all variants can reach or get pretty close to these claimed ratings. If you pick the base elevation trim, you'll be able to tow 7,700 pounds. If you pick the AT4, the max towing rating is also 7,700 pounds. Even the Canyon Denali, which is all about luxury and convenience, doesn't compromise on towing capabilities. It is rated at 7,700 pounds. Practically, the only version that features lower capacity is the AT4X due to the off-road suspension, but even that model is good for a quite respectable 6,000 pounds. Things become even more impressive if we look at the competition. The Jeep Gladiator is the only model that can also tow 7,700 pounds, but only in certain variants. As for the rest, the gap is pretty big, as the Toyota Tacoma can tow 6,500 pounds at best, while the Nissan Frontier has just been upgraded and can now tow over 7,000, but still with hundreds of pounds behind the Canyon. Number 4. Ride Quality on paper, the Canyon may look like a typical pickup with some pretty conservative technical solutions. For example, a solid rear axle with leaf springs is still there, but the ride quality is actually at a surprisingly high level. The truck feels balanced and composed whether you're on the pavement or on dirt, and despite the rugged look, it acts pretty nice in corners. The body roll is surprisingly low for a vehicle of this type, while the steering is precise. Furthermore, the brake pedal feel is firm and perfectly complements the overall feel of the solidity of the chassis and the whole pickup. In other words, the GMC Canyon is more maneuverable and easier to drive than most of its classmates. It may look rugged, but behind the steering wheel, it looks smaller than it actually is. The story doesn't end there because there's also the matter of sound insulation and interior quality in general, which also contribute to the overall ride quality, and that's something we're about to talk about now. Number 3. Interior Quality 
The big reason to wait for the 2025 GMC Canyon is its interior quality. Simply, this truck looks more upscale than most of its classmates, and it's not just about the sound insulation that makes the ride quieter and more convenient. GMC's midsize pickup also impresses with cabin aesthetics, with that dashboard design that looks rugged and elegant at the same time, with a pretty nice selection of materials that make you look very closely to find an area that looks cheap. And that's for base models. Things get even better with higher trim levels, especially with range-topping Denali trim, which as mentioned, adds black perforated leather, teakwood accents, and all kinds of other fancy materials. Then come all the tech features, including a massive 11.3-inch infotainment screen and a digital instrument cluster, which give a huge contribution to the cabin's overall feel of luxury that can, in the case of the Denali trim, often be mistaken for some premium badge product. But to be completely fair, despite the high level of luxury, the Canyon's cabin isn't without flaws, and if there's a thing to complain about, that would be the amount of passenger space. Because the second row definitely isn't among the most spacious ones, and if that's one of your key concerns, rivals like the Jeep Gladiator and Honda Ridgeline may be options to consider as well. Another thing to think about is the cab and bed configuration, because unlike the previous model, the current generation Canyon doesn't come in multiple configurations, but only as a crew cab pickup with a 5.2-foot cargo bed. Number 2. Powerful and Efficient Powertrain Recent redesigns brought radical changes under the hood for most of the segment, and the Canyon is certainly one of the best examples. Because large V6 engines have been dropped by most classmates, and now midsize trucks are mostly about turbo fours. And since then, the GMC Canyon stands as one of the leaders. Unlike the Colorado, it doesn't come with a detuned version of the new 2.7 liter turbo four. Instead, all variants come with a max output of 310 horsepower and 430 pound feet of torque. That's more power and way more torque compared to every V6 powered rival, and one of the most capable turbo 4 units in the segment. Logically, driving dynamics are excellent as the Canyon is quicker than most of its classmates. Compared to Nissan's similarly powered Frontier with a V6, the Canyon is 0.7 seconds quicker in a 0-60 sprint. It is also 0.5 seconds quicker than the turbo 4 powered Tacoma, which needs around 7.2 seconds to hit 60. The Canyon, as you may conclude, needs about 6.7 seconds to reach the same speed, and currently there aren't many mid-size pickups that can be as quick, at least when we talk about turbo 4 or naturally aspirated V6 engines. Of course, an 8-speed automatic transmission contributes to the high level of performance too, while it's also worth mentioning that despite all the power, the Turbo 4 also offers pretty decent fuel economy that can go up to 19 mpg city and 23 mpg highway with its rear-wheel drive version. Number 1. Attractive Styling with the GMC Canyon, strong performance and capabilities aren't the only things that you get. All these strong truck credentials also come packed in a very attractive exterior, some of the best looking in the class. Simply, GMC made a smart move and decided to use the full-size Sierra as an inspiration. The Canyon is smaller, but it comes with the same design approach, which makes it look bigger, bolder, and more massive than it actually is. Bold and rugged, the Canyon blends muscles and refinement, while the massive squarish grille takes most of the front end that also benefits from sharp headlights and sharp lines that emphasize the truck's rugged character. The aggressive front end design is followed by squared off wheel arches and in some variants, pretty robust all-terrain tires that also accentuate the model's off-road potential. Then there's a nice portion of subtle chrome details and a small touch of sophistication. Altogether, the Canyon stands as a modern warrior ready to complete every task. Don't get us wrong, most modern mid-size pickups look amazing, but the Canyon is something special. Thanks for watching and see you next time.